Good morning. This video is going to be different to the usual technical drawing videos that I do. And if you're wondering if I'm still going to continue with those, yes I am. I just wanted to make a different video today. Someone in the comments watched one of my detailed drawing videos and asked a really good question. Wouldn't it be more efficient to do a call out? Or is there a specific reason why you are drawing manually? Thanks for the question. I've already responded by replying to the comment, but, but I thought it would be good to reply to this in video form as well so that more people will be able to see and understand why I draw the construction details manually, and why you should too. I have three big reasons. So why do I draw the details manually, instead of simply using the callout tool to do all the work for me? One, the first and the main reason is to practice and reinforce my memory of the detailed drawings. As someone who studies building construction daily, almost daily. I want to be able to have these drawings in my memory so that I can recall them whenever I want. If I constantly draw them manually then I'll be able to memorize them. Then if a time comes when I need to sketch or draw them by memory, I'll have the knowledge ready or the skills sharpened. I'll be able to remember them whenever I need or if a situation arises which requires my input of knowledge. For example, if I'm inspecting someone's drawing, I can critique what's been drawn. Or if I'm inspecting a construction worker's workmanship, I can understand what I'm looking at and how it should look. I might notice something that's not quite right. I'd notice it more sharply if I rely on my strengthened memory and the drawing together. Anything that helps me to memorize how construction drawings are drawn is adding to my overall value as an architectural professional. To become an expert in any field, you have to be well versed with the subjects of the field. And this is my attempt at practicing and becoming well versed with construction detail drawings. I want to be able to know about buildings inside and out without having to refer to construction books. If I take callouts from the model, sure I can look at it and attempt to learn and memorize it, but the experience of drawing them piece by piece really effectively reinforces my memory of it, I believe. I have this thing where I don't like to be fully reliant on a PC. You can call me old fashioned, but your true strength comes from within yourself and not from the tools that you use. The tools just amplify your inner strength. So strengthen yourself by learning and memorizing construction details without relying on a computer to do all the work for you. In essence, like what Bruce Lee said about being water. Be water, my friend. Become the book. Be the book. Be the resource so that you can refer to yourself or so that others can refer to you. Does this not sound like the pathway to the mastery of yourself? Don't just read or refer to the books. Be the book. Reason number two. The next reason is absolute control. When I draw something with lines and add hatch patterns however I want, I have complete and total domination over the outcome of the drawing. Sometimes the model doesn't do exactly what it's told to, or if it's shifted in any way during the progress of the project, then it would cause changes to any existing sections and callouts of the model. For example, look at these elevation drawings that I produced by taking elevation views from the model. They have unnecessary details appearing on them, which distorts how I want the drawings to be presented. These extra details appeared because I added them from another view while progressing the project. By drawing it manually and having complete control, I can present the drawing to the manufacturer or the site workers exactly as I want to. 
I want to ensure clear and concise instructions, and so separating some crucial drawings from the model helps to ensure that my drawings won't distort in any way over time. However, there is a downside to this, and that is that I might make a human error and miss something on the drawing, or I might draw something like the angle of a pitched roof slightly wrong, which will throw off the measurements. Whereas taking a view from the model can help to ensure that everything is included on the model if the model is behaving itself and was modeled correctly. And lastly, number three. This one is slightly similar to the memorization reason. At university, we were taught to draw our plans, elevations, perspectives and details all by hand on a drafting board before using CAD to draw anything. This was to introduce us to the core skills of technical drafting before using a tool that helps you to do it all. I just said my website name, technicaldraft.com. Sign up now for a weekly newsletter that I never send out to anyone at any time, ever. Learning to draw by hand before using CAD software is like learning to walk before you run. You have to understand the core principles of what you're producing before you use a tool to amplify your production. Imagine someone who has never touched any craftsman's tools in his life ever. What do you think will happen if you give him an electric buzzsaw and tell him to cut a straight line in a piece of wood? An accident is bound to happen. He needs to be given a manual handsaw so that he can experience the act of sawing the wood and feel what it's like to cut a straight line. He needs to develop an understanding of how he's using the saw, how he can use his body and mind together to make the saw work for him. Once he understands and gets used to the feel of sawing wood accurately, then give him a tool that he can use to amplify the output of his understanding of the hand saw. There will less likely be an accident and more likely that he will be able to use the power tool more effectively. Now if I had started off on CAD, first thing without any construction knowledge, it might not really be a problem but here's my opinion on how I think relying on efficient CAD tools would have affected me. What would have happened is that I will have become reliant on the CAD software to work quickly and accurately for me. The CAD software and its tools will become the core of my technical drawing understanding. Let me explain. Meaning that I would only be able to draw by CAD. And if I would have come to a situation where, where I need to draft by hand, well I'd be about as useless as a chocolate teapot. I'd be trying to implement what I've learned of CAD processes onto paper with a pen. And that's the same as if I stepped out of a car in the middle of traffic to ride a bicycle instead. It would be better to have learned to draw by paper and pen. And once I understand what I'm trying to produce, then use the tool, such as a CAD software, to amplify my learned knowledge. Also, I believe that the slow and methodical experience of drafting a technical drawing line by line contributes to your personal development by integrating the foundational knowledge within yourself, meaning that the experience of drawing will help you to feel and take in the knowledge, absorb the knowledge into your being like a sponge. Imagine yourself as a man or woman who understands a great variety of architectural building details. Someone who can look at a building and, like a building doctor, can expertly and accurately define what makes the building that you're looking at work, what makes it stand up. And imagine that you know every little detail of how this building can be constructed, from its foundation design to structural frame design and fixing detail design. Would you not be a formidable force to be reckoned with? 
wouldn't you be regarded as a senior whose educated opinion is sought by others? Wouldn't you be looked up to as a leader who can guide and supervise design and construction while being able to criticize any issues that your eyes of wisdom can see? I want to imagine myself that way. I want to be that man who I imagined. And to be that confident and charismatic, I have to learn to rely on myself and only use tools to amplify my power not use it as a crutch to lean on and get through the task. For this reason, I'm going to practice manual hand drawing even more, because the thing that learns knowledge and brings it out and mixes it with ideas and brings ideas to life and executes the plans to bring it to life. My mind and body, I want to master them and demonstrate my inner strength. If you're still here, I didn't expect this to turn philosophical. I just presented my thoughts as if I'm looking in a mirror and talking to myself. I want to mention that I'll be working on creating some AutoCAD videos because I need to brush up and sharpen my AutoCAD skills. And hopefully I learn a lot about how to use it. If you enjoyed the video then give it a like, I'd appreciate that, because it signals to YouTube that this is a channel worth watching. And if you'd like to be subjected to more videos like this, then let me know in the comments. Or if you want me to keep this to myself and continue talking to myself in the mirror and hide my thoughts away from the world, then let me know that as well. I'm still going to make such videos whenever I feel like it. I'm just wondering what your reaction to this is. To whoever made it this far, thank you for watching. Type the word Delta in your comment to let me know that you are a one percenter that made it this far. See ya.